Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, full moon reading. Uh, so this is a full moon that's occurring in uh, Leo uh, for February 16th, 2022. So we're going to take a look at uh, what you could expect, what you guys need to know, what's surrounding you guys during this full moon. Um, you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter signs, um, any placements that you want. Um, just uh you could apply this to your own unique situation okay feel free to switch the roles if you want uh keep in mind that this could be in anything um uh, also keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates leave the rest behind uh, if this message didn't resonate take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post um give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this uh share this video with somebody if you feel like there's somebody um out there that you know that needs to hear this and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Also keep in mind that, you know, I'm tapping into the collective Aries people, okay? I'm not tapping into one specific person's energy in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, to your own energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me, okay? All right, so we're going to pull some Oracle and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, what messages do we have for Aries regarding this full moon in Leo occurring on February 16th, 2022? Keep in mind, like I said, you could apply this to any of your placements, okay? What do we have for Aries here regarding this full moon in Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Jupiter signs, any placements. Okay. Full moon in Aquarius, be real. Okay. So this is about being your true authentic true authentic self here. This is about coming back to reality. You know, perhaps, you know, you know, perhaps you know, I'm I'm getting someone's like a uh, third eye chakra is blocked, okay? Uh it could be a situation that someone here is not trusting their intuition. You know, it could be, you know, could be, you know, clouded by illusions or something like that. Okay. So this could be you. Um, Aries, keep in mind this could be you or this could be someone that you know that's going through this. Okay. So we have Capricorn and Aquarius. You could have any of those energies in your chart, Aries. Or um, you could be dealing with anyone past, present, or future who has those energies in their chart. What else do we have for Aries here? We have seventh chakra here. So this is the crown chakra, okay? So let's see. You see, be real, take a reality check. I feel like someone's letting their ego take over, okay? I feel someone here is lacking a lot of balance right now. And I do feel like we have someone here who's trying to work on um, sort of trying to work on getting out of that or if someone's not aware you know maybe that's why this is the uh this is why you're uh watching this what else do we have for aries here what else do we have for aries regarding this Full moon in Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Sign, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Okay, we have compromise and forgiveness. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's not really accepting themselves for who they are. Okay, I feel like someone here is dealing with a situation where someone here is having a hard time forgiving, uh, perhaps even forgiving themselves. You know, maybe someone here is dealing with a lot of shame, okay? So I feel like someone here has to hide behind a facade or the ego here, all right? So someone here is definitely in some sort of fight or flight response. 
What else do we have for Aries regarding this uh, full moon in Leo? What else do we have for Aries regarding this full moon in Leo? What else do we have for Aries regarding this full moon in Leo? New Three of Swords. Yeah, someone here is going through a lot of pain. Okay, someone here is very insecure here. So Aries, like I said, this could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with here. Uh, this is someone that could have hurt you, okay? Or you could, have, you could have hurt someone here, all right? Let's see what else we have here for Aries. We have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Someone here is just extremely, extremely, extremely guarded. So a lot of the stuff that's happening to someone here is rooted in fear, I feel. Fear, paranoia, okay? Um, I, I just feel like someone here is definitely hiding behind the truth, hiding behind a facade, hiding behind illusions, okay? Perhaps, you know, there's a situation where someone here is pretending like none of this is going on. Um, you know, it's about acceptance here and you know learning from it and trying to move on from it so that it doesn't happen again but i feel like we have someone here that's caught in some sort of karmic cycle here you know, the page of swords in the chariot you know i feel like we have someone here ha that hasn't really come to terms with their past you know someone here could have had a horrible childhood okay um you know someone could you know have done stuff in the past that they were not proud of um, but I, I just feel like someone here is having a hard time moving on from it. You have the Page of Swords, Libra, Approach, Gemini, and Cancer energy here with the Chariot. Let's see, what else do we have here? Why is it Three of Swords here? We have the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. We have the Strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, I just feel like someone's flame has been snuffed. I just feel like there's a lack of courage here. I just feel like there is, you know, <clears throat> there's a, a bit of holding back, okay? I feel like someone here is lacking the courage to tr show their true self, lacking the courage to accept something that they can't change. And I, I just feel like someone here is just really um, kind of holding on to that, okay? Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So this is the energy where someone here has been through a lot, okay? Um, I feel like we have someone here that is tired, okay? Um, I feel like someone here is tired of someone or anybody not loving them or something like that. You know, with this Ace of Cups, I feel like there's a lack of self-love for um, uh, regarding somebody here. Uh, Nine of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Someone here is carrying around a lot of weight, okay? And I feel like, like I said, I feel like someone here is in some sort of fight or flight response. Uh, Page of Swords. You have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. You see, I feel like someone here is having a hard time releasing something that has happened in the past. Wheel of Fortune, this seems like it's been a, there's a pattern that needs to be broken here, I feel. I'm going to take that. Someone here is trying to break out of this pattern or this cycle of being inauthentic, I guess. Yeah, so Aries, like I said, this could be you, this could be someone else that you're dealing with, okay? What else do we have for Aries here? What else do we have for Aries? Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Oh. And three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Strength card. And the Eight of Pentacles. So Aries, you know, I feel like through this time, you know, uh, this full moon and moving on, you know, I feel like you're good. I feel like you're working really hard. Okay, I feel like you're doing a lot of work here. You know, perhaps you're working hard on your uh, work and your career. You're working hard on yourself. Uh, but I, I, I'm feeling like, you know, someone here is just having a hard time. Let's see. Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords here. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, this Queen of Swords and this Ace of Swords is about speaking the truth here and accepting the truth here. Okay. Um, 
Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, um, I just feel like Aries, you're tired of being stuck in this type of this pattern that you've been in. And I feel like you're trying to cut it out and trying to move on from it. Uh, tell me about this hangman. Why is this hangman here? Why is this hangman here? And the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the world. Yeah, I just feel like you're trying to break free of the cycle here, okay? Um, yeah, trying to walk away from it, coming terms with your past, you know, finding your independence again and your um, abundance. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like once you do sort of break this pattern i feel like the abundance will start flowing in and i feel like you're going to be a, a, a lot happier um let's see three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles here we have, the we have the devil capricorn energy eight of pentacles and the two of wands yeah i just feel like you don't want to live this life that you're not you know, happy with anymore. Just holding on to this, um, you know, negative energy. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles right here. You know, I feel like there's an energy of wanting to focus on your, you know, emotional stability, your stability here, your mental stability too. I feel like there's an energy that someone here does not want to feel this way anymore. Like the Seven of Cups. I mean, this speaks of illusion right here. That's what I was talking about earlier. The world and the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like this is a block and a hindrance in your growth and your evolution and your healing here. Uh, because I feel like someone here is just caught in this illusion. And like I said, we have someone here that's trying to break through that. Okay? So, um, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Alright? Thanks, guys. Bye.